Keep his word, what will we find in ourselves? In him verily is the love of the most high perfected. We will find the love of the most high being perfected in us if we keep his word. And what would that let us know about ourselves? Hereby know that we are in him. Kabang, that's how we know that we are in the most high in Christ. Get it again. Acts 4, 32 through 33. And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that all of the things which he possessed was his own. So he didn't look at the things that he had as being his own. He didn't look at nothing and say this is mine this belongs to me and me only but what did a man do instead but they had all things common they had all things common that mean they shared if you had some you may show you i had some too that's the love right there let us read on get 33 33 and with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of yashua so great power was given to the apostles and the witness their witnesses their testimony their ministry their prophesying their work huh the reaching of the people by the spreading of the word and what else was they giving and great grace was upon them all. Great grace was upon them. So it's because of the love that the Most High in Christ was behind the disciples and that was fruitful in their work and multiplied huh? by the love. They had to have the love. And if you're trying to push that it's only talking about our own precept, get it again. Let's jump off in the law with Deuteronomy 10 and 17 through 19. For the Most High thy power is God of all God and Lords of Lords, a great power, a might, and a terror, which regardeth not person, nor taketh reward. So he disregarded persons and had no respect to person. Nothing separates anybody from the Most High but disobedience. But if you will to follow and obey him, his love is there. 18, he does execute the judgment of the fatherless. So he loves and is there for an illegitimate child or a child whose father has passed on, huh? And widow, he is there for the widow. He is there and has love for a woman whose husband has passed off. If she will to keep his word, and who else? And loveth the stranger. Come bang, there it is, he loved the stranger. Which a stranger is a heathen or a gentile individual so he loved them too if they would obey and please him now do you see how one has to ignore scripture to feel how they feel and to spread what they spread that's a direct breach of the law statutes and commandments so stop it with the spittle scriptures and all that that's talking about the wicked that's not talking about the gentiles who will to follow the father but once they repent and try to follow the father and accept him and accept his 
his children and who the chosen is and all of that stuff like that, then they should be accepted too. The father accept him. This about to prove it. Let us read on. What would the father do for them? In giving him food and rain, he will feed them too, just like he feed us and clothe us. He'll clothe them too. They go through the same thing we go through when they come into this fruit. They lose family members. They lose jobs. They lose all of the stuff that we lose. So they going through the struggle with us. They forsaken their kingdom that's popping right now to come and stand with us with nothing. So they have forsake their gods to follow our. I would do the same thing too. Like, wait a minute, your God hired than mine? Like, my God didn't create this heaven and this earth? Well, I'm gonna come roll with yours then and roll with y'all. So I feel where they coming from. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And the Most High accept them. So if the Most High accept them, it's gonna tell us what we should do. Let us read on. Get 19. Love ye therefore the stranger. Kapow, there it is there. Love the stranger too. Why? For ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. We were strangers in the land of Egypt. So that's what it's all about. We was low in the land of Egypt. You know, so that's a form of bitterness and retaliation and stuff. You know, for now we get our land and now we big and bad and we better than everybody. You know what I'm saying? They're looking at us like you was low in our land. Now you big and bad? That ain't no good way to represent the most high. That's gonna make him hate the most high in us. So you see how special and set apart that is for us to bend low when they land and low when we got our? Now we done went back into captivity again, so we should definitely be low right now. So what's this out there that got love for the Gentiles? Don't let nobody make you feel bad about that. You are operating within the covenant. We reading it right now. Precept. Get it again. Let's stay in the law and get what it say about anybody speaking against this. Let's go there. Deuteronomy 13 and 3. Thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet. So you should not hearken unto the words of any prophet, which the prophets is gone now. So while we got is this book, this is where we're going to be reading the prophet. So that's saying if you come across anywhere in this book that a prophet speak anything outside of this covenant, what? Or that dreamer of dreams or anybody else outside of that prophet who want to speak against the covenant. It just called him a dreamer of dreams. He dreaming. That mean it ain't reality. <laughs> it's coming out of his own heart and mind what he dealt with. He trying to push on you his own wishes. He's dreaming. He's a dreamer of dreams. So hearken not unto him either, but who should we hearken unto? For the most high thy power prove if you. The most high is who we should hearken unto. The most high is the one that's proving us right or proving us wrong. They conveyed what he wanted them to tell us. So we should stick to that. Hearken unto him and him only. And what does this let us know about ourselves? To know whether ye love the most high thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Cub bang. This lets us know that we are properly following, obeying, and loving the most high eye with all our heart and with all our soul. That's the love of the most high right there. I am. Do you see that? That's when we love in the most high. We know all of those scriptures. I love those that love me. If you love me, keep my command. First John 5 and 3. John 14 and 15. We know all of those scriptures. We know what we got to do in order to even speak the words that we love the most high. Precept. Get it again. Get the exact opposite of what the love of the most high is right here. This way you're going to go for that. Look. Jude chapter 1 and 17 through 21. But beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Yahshua Christ. Remember what? What was spoken? Get 18. 18, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last day. There should be mockers in the last day. That's not mockers, scoffers, hecklers, those that'll make fun of those for trying to follow what they believe is the true doctrine. Those who ain't playing around. Those who are trying to do what they think this word is telling them to do. Tell us more about those who will mock. Who will walk after their own ungodly lust. Kabang, they those that's walking after their own ungodly lust. Once again, dreamers of dreams, right? Pushing on us what they want the word to be saying, huh? That go them dreamers of dreams again, huh? Or not? <laughs> Let us read on. What else? How else will we identify them? 19, these be they who separate themselves. They separate themselves. Separate themselves how? Sensual. Sensual, that's how. They mockers and scoffers. They are unable to show you love. They see you hurting and it's funny. They see something happening to you and they rejoice in that. They not a helping hand. Oh, this is getting juicy. Tell us more. Having not the spirit. Whoops, having not the spirit. That's a smoking gun. You know we gotta have the spirit. We got to have it. Why? So this destroys that. I know we think it ain't no big deal, man. It's a big deal. This make the Holy Spirit rewind, flee. That's a major violation because we will not be successful at the throne if we lack the rewind. That's why we get baptized and receive the Holy Spirit and receive the clean slate, huh? It's a wrap for them. This is serious. All for what? Scoffing and mocking and not showing love? Let us read on. Get to it. But ye, be loved. But you, be loved. Build up yourselves in the most holy faith. Build up yourselves in the most most holy faith. So you make sure you got the reward. Never mind what these other cats is going through that's making fun of you and this and that and the other. Make sure you got the reward. Don't switch up what you got going on to fit in with them and appeal to them. Because they can't save you. Make sure you maintain the Holy Spirit that you received at your baptism, Con. And how do we make sure we got the reward? Praying in the Holy
Holy Spirit. Kapow, that is, yeah, you gotta pray in the Holy Spirit. Not to the Holy Spirit, but through the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit, huh? And how do we know it's the Holy Spirit we praying in? Listen to this, family. It's breaking it down. It's giving us a map, a blueprint of how to do this. How we know we got the Rewap with Doc? 21. Keep yourselves in the love of the Most High. Kaboom! Wow. That is. Nah, keep yourself in the hate of the Most High. Keep yourselves in the love of the Most High. Nah, laugh, mock, and heckle. Keep yourself in the love of the Most High. Keep yourself in the love of the Most High. That's the only way to make sure we have the Spirit and that the Spirit remains with us is that we keep ourselves in the love of the Most High. The same love that Deuteronomy 13 was just talking about, that smoking gun, proof, evidence. And what else would we be doing by doing this? Looking for the mercy of our Lord Yasha Christ. Kabang, rap. Done. Case closed. That's how you seek mercy in your Shia unto eternal life. That's telling us if we ain't doing this, then we ain't getting no mercy at the throne. Period. So see, flat out, a lot of people ain't doing this to be successful. But praise Ahaya, by this book, we are able to identify them and steer clear of that mentality that they push. Huh? The loving soul is the one that's going to get that mercy. The one that's practicing the fruit of that spirit. Huh? Not the bitter soul that's going to tell you it's cool to not be having love for one another. We ain't making it like that. It's just told us. So let's run back to all of these points that was hit to have us fall on the wrong side of this. You forgot the word spoken by the disciples. You have become a mocker you are walking in your own ungodly lust you have separated yourself from the spirit i know these are some cold things to be saying to somebody but i'm not saying this to anybody family we just reading this book this book is saying this huh? so when you see the book being harsh like this you know it's like life and death so let us keep on hitting these attributes that it just spoke what else we got so you have separated yourself from the holy spirit you are not building yourself up in your most holy faith your most holy faith family we know holy mean to be separated so your faith has to be separated. Your faith can't be like everybody else's faith. You can't look at somebody else's faith and say, oh, this dude is doing that, so I guess it's okay if I do that. No, your most holy, your most separated faith. Let us keep getting these. What else we had? We had, uh, you were not keeping yourself in the love of the most high, and we had one more. Lastly, and in conclusion, you were not seeking mercy in your Shia unto eternal life. So that right there just basically called us pit material. You know good, you didn't seek the mercy, which is why we even repent. It's because we seeking the mercy. We want to turn back from our sins, right? And fix things so that we can stand before the throne complete and honor and salvageable, con huh? And redeemable. Not to get there in this condition that this is talking about right here. So this is all a result of a lacking love, family. So though you may have had all all of the other points common. If you lack this right here, you still gonna fail at the judgment. You need all of that too. Yeah, that stuff is good. We gotta have that. You can't lack this though. This is the fulfillment of the law. The conclusion, kabang, the sealer, kapow. Like the law is a cake and this is the icing and the cherry on top, kind. You need a bowl for it to be complete. Kaboom. Like the law is liquid in the bottle, but this right here, this is the cap that screw on top, twist tightly and secure everything that's in the bottle, right? If you ain't got no cap, you gonna lose everything thing out your bottle. It's going to be worthless. It's not going to help you. It's not a sealer. It's not a fulfillment. You're not done. You still have work to do. That's what that means. That's what love fulfills the law means. Now the Western church and these other religions are trying to flip that and try to say, oh, all you got to do is love people and then you don't got to worry about the rest of the law. No, that's not what this is saying. It's saying it fulfills the law. It's saying it completes it. Amon Kapow, that is there. Let's get out of here. Precept it again. Let's go out with 1 John 3. 1 John chapter 3 verse 10. In this the children of the most high are manifest. In this, the children of the most high are revealed. Manifest means revealed. It means it came to life. And the children of the devil. And the children of the devil are also revealed in this. So we're saying this is what's going to determine the most high's children from the devil's children. And what is this? Whoso doeth not righteousness is not of the most high. Those who do not righteousness are not of the most high's children. And what is this right? Hold up. What is this righteousness? Drum roll. Let's get a drum roll. And what is this righteousness that you speak? Up, John. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Kabang. That's an open and shut case right there, family. That's done. That's a wrap, period. It's going to be that love that's going to get us. We got to keep this love going because this is very important among the body of Christ. So if it be the will of Ohio, we're going to keep one of these coming out every now and again, huh? And keep trying to make this plain among us. Why? Because let's keep going. Let's get a letter. Why should we keep these going? For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning. What message we heard from the beginning? That we should love one another. There it is again. And we should love one another. Let's keep going. Get 12. 12. Not as Cain. Oh. Because 
Because if not, then we are of Cain. You're going to be Cain standing before that throne. And who was Cain? Who was of that wicked one? He was of the wicked one. Why was he of the wicked one? What did he do? And slew his brother. He was a murderer. He killed his brother. Killed his own brother wow. for nothing. Just in his feelings. So that's the spirit we operate in when we got an evil eye towards our brothers and sisters. There it is there. Same eye Cain was looking at Abel with. And wherefore slew he him? And wherefore slew he him? So therefore he killed him. Why? Because his own works were evil. Straight up. Because his own works was evil. That was the works of his heart. Now we know that when this say Cain's works, it ain't speaking about the fruit and produce that he brought to the most high for a sacrifice because that's the same thing we do for the feast of first fruits, huh? So it's not talking about that. It's talking about what he was carrying in his heart, huh? So however Cain's spirit was looking when he killed Abel, is the same way our spirit gonna be looking when we stand up before that throne, trying to smooth talk our way into some mercy. Nah, it ain't gonna work like that. <laughs> Romans 13 and 8, Oh, no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Verse 10, love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling 